guys so as you can see these are the products I will be using to maintain my crochet hair so if you want to see how I maintain and how I use the products just stay tuned peace so the water and aloe vera juice for the spray bottle is mostly used for just moisturize and it helps keeps the itchiness away the blue magic is to help continue to grow my hair and keep it shiny and well put together and less breakage means longer hair so the lot of body edge control is like i never used it before but on my edges but i really want to try it so just stay tuned and see how that goes so the lot of body foamy mousse helps keeps the crochet shiny and it takes away frizz and it will define the curls on the crochet hair so the lot of body style me setting lotion will help just keep the hair together and just help it stay and looks nice and shiny all right so the first thing i'm going to do is obviously take my bonnet off in my wrap up and i'm gonna get started on the top part just because my bone was already coming down and it'll be easier to get that on done and out the way so what I do to the crochet here is that I add water and aloe vera juice that's already in my spray bottle on it just because the water it just helps moisturize the hair more and then uh, after that, I'm going to add a lot of body setting lotion after I smooth it out in the crochet hair. Yep, adding the setting lotion in. And then you smooth that out throughout the hair. And then after that, as you can see me, I'm separating it because it was kind of frizzy and stuck together. So I'm going to add the mousse. This mousse helps weave a lot. And and then I'm going to wrap it around the bun. Well my real hair. To create a bun. Oh. So as you can see right now I'm spraying water and aloe vera juice throughout all my braids and I'm rubbing it. In, in my scalp so my hair and my scalp will be moisturized and it can continue to grow and then you just want to do that between all your braids just so it, you can it can help your hair continue to grow and stay moisturized then after that I'm going to add in the blue magic as you can see yeah Think about it at Walmart. If you watch my other videos, you would know. And then you just want to take a you don't need that much, just take a little bit. And then you want to put it all between your scalps. Yeah, you just put it on your scalp. Like I did like half and half, like I used all my fingers to go between. Okay, and then next I'm spraying the crochet hair. Oh <laughs> I'm spraying I'm spraying the water on my crochet hair because I'm doing the same basically that I did to the top. Then yeah, just don't mind that braid that was sticking out in the back. <laughs> so yeah, you wanna add a lot of body setting lotion. And there's a reason why I add it first because setting lotion will help the curls stay and then the mousse will help the curls pop out more. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then yeah, add the mousse because it helps the hair stay put together and it will help the curls pop out and the setting lotion helped the frizz go down just like the mousse but the mousse is a little bit more better so like, if you don't have setting lotion at least you have the mousse or if you don't have the mousse you can have setting lotion it, don't, it doesn't really matter you can have either or or both but I use both because I want my hair to look pretty nice and it just made me feel like it looks nice okay <laughs> So, I will be using a toothbrush for my edges because I didn't have a edge 
brush, you know, like for the edges and stuff. But I will be buying one soon. And then, um, anyway, so I brushed out some of my edges. And I'm not a pro at doing edges, so just watch and see what how I do. And then, yeah, I'm using some gel and stuff. But right now, I'm putting the Blue Magic on my edges. And then I'm going to spray some water on it and aloe vera. Because, like, you know, it just helps to stay healthy and stuff. And then I, I'm using the lot of body edge control because I never used it before this is actually my first time using it for edges like I used it to do a ponytail before as for school but that was it but then this so you just want to swoop and try your best like me okay but I'm not good at doing edges so just bear with me you want to just continue to swoop and I'm swooping the other side and just comment down below if my edges were fail or not, but I feel like I did it pretty good for someone who don't do edges. But yeah, my edges were not the best, but they were they were laid. But I don't know about slayed. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm just looking in the mirror because I'm in the bathroom, and I'm just trying to make sure that. It was actually swooping and staying down. And I do not do sideburns, so I made sure that they were down. And then I was like, yeah, whatever. So then I'm just, you just want to wrap it up, especially if you have your natural hair type like me. Like type 4 hair type. But type 3 hair types do curl up again, so you might want to just wrap it up immediately after you do your edges. And then... Yeah, I wrap up my hair. And then you want to put the bonnet on. And you might want to wait like around four to five minutes for your edges. But you really don't have to put the bonnet on right away. But I just put it on because the crochet hair, I like it all around my face and stuff. So yeah, see you later. So these are the results of my edges. And as you can see, I tried. But I see some swoops, so yeah. <laughs>